Hello everybody and welcome to Witcher 3. Now, one thing you should know before we get into this, I have already played this. I have experienced the entire game, minus the expansions, but we will get to those. And, I don't know, I just thought this make a, a pretty good first let's play. Um, so that's kind of why I'm doing this, so... No, we don't want to continue. The good people at home will not know what the hell is going on. So we want a new game. We'll do fresh start. And we're going to do this game on blood and broken bones. Love that. Tutorials, no, I don't need tutorials. Smite Witcher 2 save. I think I want that on. Alright. I love these cinematic trailers. And Boom! Chop the fucking head, head, horse's head off. Ugh. Poor guy. trail. Now this scene, was she actually part of this battle or was she just there? just to fuck with the army's day. Fucking tits. God damn it, son of a bitch. Charge with goddamn patrol. Motherfucker. God damn, where's my charge? There it is. Okay. Alright, Kara Morin. Mm, well, that's not good. Just going after your giblets, bro. The woman go after your giblets.
It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. Dead ass. Love her eyes. Alright. Let's go over here and talk to Jennifer. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive, not to mention unreasonable. Well, let's be unreasonable. So that's the way the wind blows. Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. Who's known many? What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. He almost fucked that up, but then he saved it. Was that? I was fucking right. Yeah, silver. Gold clashes with my complexion. You should know that. Why the hell should I know that? I'm a guy. You really have a juice? I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Hmm. Still. Shit. Mountain pass is beautiful as ever. I absolutely love this view. If you are just down there to see Siri training. Okay. Anything else in here? There's something else. Oh, there was something else. Lilac and gooseberries, of course. Gerald, stop fingering my toiletries. Oh, miss this. Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Mm -hmm. Undergarments. It has been a little bit since I've played this. So a lot of things have some things I probably won't remember where they are. What was the run button? Was it X? I don't remember. Old Witcher's fast asleep. Series disappeared somewhere, of course. to theory. Hmm? Why? Time to wake up, master. 
These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Oh, don't get mad at her. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. Spoken like a true like old man. Her. Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Ziri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Wrong. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike. Ah, the unnecessary backflip. All right, take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know. And you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Paul is not enough. Sorry's not good enough. A little shit. You're gonna read Ghouls and Al Ghouls in its entirety, appendices included. No, please. I'd rather clean the stables. End of discussion. Come on. We'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Not this time. Not this time. Believe me, you don't. Also, want to bear with anything. my commentary. This is a hard game to commentate, and to jokes and things that are going to think of something to say. A game like this is kind of difficult, so just bear with the commentary. At least for me, I find it a bit difficult. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if. But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. Has a point. So you said you did the exercise while Vesemir was asleep. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with the dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? 
Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Uh, skip tutorial. I don't need tutorial. Straight to free training. No point going over that. I know what the hell I'm doing. She's back. We'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet. Siri. Mm -mm. Uh oh. Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. That's not good. Oh, shit's about to hit the fan. Maria Road to Vizina. You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'll take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Gentle Caramoran. Started in the guest room at Caramoran. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me. Tris? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. It seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? Of course she was. Mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. We will not worry about that. I know we will. That's not what worries me. You've seen her tracks. She's at full gallop all the time. Breakneck speed through wildlands, devastated battlefields. She's in a hurry to get somewhere. Or fleeing something. Either way, it means trouble of some sort. Be surprised if she wasn't in trouble. She's always poked her nose in beehives. Courtly intrigues here, mages' conspiracies there. What do you expect? Don't know. Guess I thought once we were finally reunited, things would be calm, at least for a while. Calm? With Yennefer? <laughs> Good luck. Then we train with Siri. In the dream, I went and found Siri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she devil. I trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Siri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. Siri, my dreams might mean she's in danger. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri appeared in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from any wraiths included. Well, done to go. 
Be done in soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in here. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow our trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Hmm. How about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. Do you think I'm lying, then? We did not sniff it. We must meet soon. Will it be near Vizina? Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? <laughs> well, that's you should ask. Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. Certain situations. Hmm. The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I smell it. Ghouls. Don't fuck shit up. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Peace my steel, motherfucker. Of course. When armies pass necro babies, right, let's go before any more show up. Take a shit. Take a shit. Take more of your shit. Take the last of your shit. Alright. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him, too. His theory collapsed. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edern are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. Okay. Take it easy. Now. We going? Bright fucking light. Help me! Help! Also, I'm going to try and play this a little differently than I did my other playthrough, so I'm probably going to go the asshole route. It's gone. Yeah. Come out. God, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly. 
that griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... You'd like a reward, I suppose. And because I'm playing the asshole rod, I'm gonna take his money. Could always use a few crowns. Thing is, I've a meager purse at the moment. Nilf Guardians requisitioned my goods. Now this. Yeah, yeah. Finally, pay up, dude. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there. Muddled. You seek someone. What's it to you? What's it to you? Well, you see. There's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there. Not a bad idea, especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Right. Go, Vesemir. So, a griffin this close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest to the mountain, sure, but here, near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch Indeed. ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn it. The Temerian lilies, they've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumping around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. <laughs> Already had the pleasure. One mean beast. Mean? Light way for a hunter to put it. Claude Lena so bad, poor thing's one foot in the grave. But it's no good to wallow in misfortune. How can I be a service? With a drop of vodka for me. And you? Something to wet your tongue. Um, pretty busy place. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest and warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Is contract on that griffin? Is there a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the Alderman would start a collection, or go to the Lord for help. Now, the Alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And, as soon as they hanged the Lord, it was an old contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. 
I'm looking for a woman. Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. Believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travellers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after all. Uh, show me what she got. Show me what you got behind the counter. Don't think she has much. Oh, uh, she has Gwent cards. Well, I think I'm gonna play Gwent in this in this playthrough. Uh, probably not. So thanks for everything. Thanks for everything. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember. We'd rather not draw any attention. Okay. And that will do it for me. I'm all out of time. Well, thank you everybody so much for watching. Sorry if I took a little bit of a pause in between. I couldn't really think of anything to say in the amount of time. That amount of time. So, I'm sorry about that. Bear with the commentary. This is the first video. I don't think it is that bad. I hope to get better in the future. So, again, thank you everyone so much for watching. And until next time we meet, my name is Alex Knight, and I hope to meet you again soon.